Welcome back to the Dirt Head Shed. It's time to go wheeling to Maz Grande. Super good. Mandatory airing down picture. Here's my buddy Matt. He likes to always stock in the background on my videos. Yeah. I'm the background noise. I like the elevator music. Matt's got that really red uh, green bob board. So I brought his Jeep. <laughs> his, his son though, Joe, he's got the Bronco out here. He's, this thing's badass. We made it to the dirt. There's a pretty good group of guys. I think there's probably eight of us or ten of us scattered about this trail. Last time I brought this truck on this trail, my friend Brian was with me here shooting photos and it was bone stock. I brought the Mazda on, and like two days after I bought it, I brought it up here and ran this trail. I ran most of it, ended up having to run part of it on my feet. But we'll see, hopefully we can make it up the trail better this time. Better, or I'm selling this puppy. is really similar to the one that I took Mom's Spaghetti up a couple episodes ago. This trail, we actually ran, we ran this trail on Dirt Every Day multiple times. Once in my stock Bronco, and then once in the Bronco truck thing. And uh, it just changes every time you're up here, mainly because of tree fall from, from a rough winter. So again, this is obviously got water running down it. Water comes out of an old dead mine up at the top of this draw. So they say that this creek also doesn't support any wildlife or habitat. So that's why we're able to drive this trail, um, which is rad. I'm stoked that we're able to come out here and do stuff like this because this is just epic scenery. Come on. Sweet. 
I've never actually seen Brad's LJ, but I guess that thing's got an LS3 in it. Goes down here getting after it in the Bronco. Joe's like new to wheeling. He just built that rig this last year and took it on a uh, full size invasion. Got like basically between full size invasion and Easter Jeep Safari, got like two weeks of solid wheeling in in the spring. But I don't know that he's had it out a bunch of times since then. Matt's little TJ is sort of unassuming as well. I think it's got an old Skyjacker long arm kit, but then he went through and he three linked the upper so it doesn't have the bind in the front end. And the thing works really good. 35 speed locks gets it done. Texas LS3 LJ Rubicon Express long arm 44 and a 9 inch. My buddy Matt's son Joa. This rig is 85 Bronco 79 F 150 front 44 9 inch rear 37s method trail readies trail feed grips. Sorry. Matt, his TJ. Here's my buddy John's Jeep. This one is the one I just did a Skyjacker lift kit on, wheels and tires. And then he had a bunch of metal cloak armor installed on it. That thing's rad. Fully built. CJYJ TJ thing. Linked and coiled over. I can see the frustration through your pit vipers. Rob decided it's not a hill climbing son of a gun, it's a rock crawler. She's going to walk this. step in this water because it's got so much bad stuff from the old mines in it. I've 
figure I breathe chop saw wheels. I can probably handle some nasty water. These rocks move around a lot, huh? Like cheating, they just sneak around everything. Not going for the overtake on a sun. Well, Jeep is smashing this trail. So, this section just had a big bottleneck. Everybody's hung up for a minute, I think. What happens is you get an obstacle and then if you don't keep your momentum then you end up losing your spot figuring losing where your rocks are all at so the key is to keep it moving forward keep a little bit of momentum it's kind of important to keep a little bit of space between you and the guy in front of you if you have the opportunity close to the waterfall at the top um, we didn't make it up this in my Bronco without a winch and we didn't make it up in Fred's Bronco without a winch so let's go see how this group goes. Everybody's just driving right up it I guess. I guess everybody drove right up this waterfall. Let's we'll see how the old Mazda does. I know sometimes this thing can be challenging and sometimes you just walk up it. I think right now there's probably a big rock that's filling in a hole at the bottom. It's been a problem in the past. Sunflower seeds falling everywhere. There's Rob waiting for me. I've been driving too slow. That's it for this dirt head shed. I'm gonna get the Mazda home, wash it up, park it for a little bit. I got other rigs I gotta work on.